Hi everybody. This vehicle is a 2008 Honda Fit and today I'm working on the AC compressor. This vehicle has a problem where the compressor clutch will not always engage and it seems to happen most on the hottest days, of course. So, before we get into fixing this problem, there's a quick test we can do on the clutch coil, and that's called an ohms test. Basically, just hook up a DVOM, or a digital volt ohm meter, something like my Fluke 88, and put it in ohms mode. So it's measuring the resistance across the coil. To do this, I connected the black ground clip to the compressor body mounting bolt and the red wire is connected to the pin which supplies 12 volts to the coil. So on this connector it's the middle pin. And when we measure between these two points, in this case it's reading 3.7 ohms. Now generally speaking we want to see somewhere around 3.5 ohms on the average clutch, but when it's possible, when the information is available, it's best to compare our readings to the factory specs. And I have them here for this Honda Fit, which says field coil resistance at 68 degrees should be somewhere between 3.15 and 3.45 ohms. So this is not grossly out of specs, but it's still higher than it should be. And right now, it probably is right around 70 degrees here in the shop. So that resistance of 3.7 ohms is too high for this temperature. And if we think back to our school days, when we learned about things like Ohm's Law, and how electricity works when it flows through wires, as temperature increases, so does resistance, which means that when it gets really hot outside and the temperature of this coil increases, so does the resistance of its windings. And since we're only supplying it with roughly 12 volts, there may not be enough power available to overcome the resistance and pull in the clutch, especially on those really hot days. In this case, we'll try to source a replacement clutch coil and measure its resistance first. And if it comes in within spec, and I'm hoping it'll be on the low end of that spec, somewhere around 3.15 ohms, it may just solve this problem. But with the way things are today with part prices, it may just end up being cheaper and more cost effective to replace the entire compressor, even though there's probably nothing wrong with the compressor side. There's one more old school trick to try here, which involves measuring the clutch gap and if possible, removing a shim to tighten it up. But we'll cover that in another video if it works out. So, pretty cool. Well, if you have any questions or any comments, post them below. And thanks for watching. And if you like my videos, please subscribe.